everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm pretty excited for. We're going to be playing with some new makeup like I typically do over here on Fridays. And like I mentioned last Friday, I was waiting for some packages to arrive. So a few of them have come in. So I get to play with some new goodies to me. So I'm going to be trying out the Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette. I almost said lilac. Hello. Uh, let's see what else do I have in here. I have from Smashbox the Cali Contour face palette. I've been hearing really good things about it, so I thought I would pick that one up. I also have from Natasha Denona one of her new Super Glow highlighters. I've been talking about this one. Knew I was planning to buy that. I do have a bronzer here from Guerlain, and then I also have the uh, the Hourglass Caution Mascara. This was like a point perk, so I picked it up. And then I have a new lipstick here from CoverGirl as well, so we have a lot to try out today. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so we are zoomed in. I got some of my hair pulled back here, so we are ready. So I do have my foundation, concealer, powder, and brows on, and I'm gonna jump in starting with the eyes. So like I said, I got the Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette. I picked it up from Sephora. Uh, they were having 8% cashback on eBay. I don't know if they still are, but if they are, I highly suggest you check it out because I got, when, the, when my email came through and it said like how much money I got back, I was like, hey, how much money did I spend again on that Sephora order? Whoops. But 8% cashback, I mean, that's pretty good. It's like you got 8% off. That's how I look at it. Uh, but I was talking about this guy, of course, in like my Will I Buy It videos. I said I was really interested in it. When I did my Beautylish wish list, I had the um, like the regular Lila palette on there and but I said like I just don't feel like I can spend $129 on a palette but I really enjoy that she's doing these minis. I have the mini sunset. I quite like it uh, and for $25 like I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I like these smaller mini palettes with more of like a color theme in them. It just helps me since I don't have the most artistically creative mind in the world and I am just as super interested in this. So I will insert uh, some photos that I just took this morning for Instagram. I did some swatches and I posted them on Instagram and I'm not gonna lie, the swatches have me a little worried because they did not swatch well. Uh, especially the blue, I was pretty disappointed in the blue because I felt like the swatch photos that Natasha posted on their Instagram is like completely completely different like this blue is more of like a very like subtle like I, I, I don't know I, I do film with lights so I have a ring light shining at me but it was just more more subtle than I was hoping for so I'm a I don't know we'll just have to we'll just have to go ahead and see first I'm going to come in with kind of this light brown shade and I'm using the Delium Tools a 785 tapered blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead and run that through the crease as my transition color here. And then next up, I'm going to take this a third shade here and I'm going to grab a smaller blending brush. This is from Sigma. It's the E25. And I'm just going to start to kind of pack this onto the outer part of the eye here. And then slowly start to blend that one as well. The outer part of the eye to be like this fairly like heavy smoky like purple look so that's why when I first come in I really just tap the pigment down before I start doing any sort of blending motions and then once I have you know most of the pigment down then I come in and start to blend it out and especially if I'm working with a really dark color I hold my brush like fairly like towards the end and I just use like a light pressure because if I hold it like here and do this then it it can get kind of like sloppy and just a little bit too intense so I like to do something really light-handed with these dark colors. So I'm not gonna lie I think the shade is beautiful. I think it applied very easily. I feel like I'm blending out pretty well. It is kind of you know that deeper purple which sometimes I kind of have kind of have a little bit of issues with and I feel like it's looking a little bit patchy but at the same time uh, I'm not the best blender in the world and I feel like especially when I do things on camera like I just feel like I'm I don't know I feel like I'm in like this weird rushed thing um, but I'm just gonna like take my time here and blend it but I feel like that looks really pretty and I actually really like it which I'm relieved at because it didn't swatch it didn't swatch the best but I do like that I have just a little bit of fallout around my face too but nothing nothing too bad yet I do want to use the blue more on the inner part of my eyes. I'm going to grab the E57 from Sigma and I'm just going to spray my brush a bit with the Fix Plus. I just, I have a feeling it's uh, it's going to need it. Even though that, that purple did surprise me, but I'm just going to pick up some of the blue 
and then pat it. Whoa, that's much better than I was expecting. Oh, thank goodness. I'm just packing this one all over the lid on the inner part here. That's, that's, that's so pretty. That's way better than I was expecting from the swatch. Whoo! You see that mark? That is from me. I was like literally examining and I went shh and I hit the brush right on my face. Excellent. I am a professional. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm just building up this color a little bit. That is so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy because I was really looking forward to this blue and like mixing the blues and purples. And then when I swatched it, I was like, uh-oh. But swatches are different than how shadows perform on the eyes. Yay! This blue is really pretty too. Like the sparkle in it almost is kind of like, has like some green shifts to it. That's really pretty. So I'm going to take my first Delium Tools brush here and just kind of blend the purple and the blue together to the best of my own ability here. I'm way more happier with this eye than I thought I was going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on this eye too. Alrighty, so I got the other eye done. I'm going to put my eyes on hold for a second and do some more of my face like I normally do um, in my tutorials, but I'm a lot happier with this palette than I initially expected to after the swatches, so thank goodness. Uh, I know this one, since it's so like that dark matte purple, I can have a little bit of trouble blending it out, and sometimes I think these shades just in general come across a little patchy on me since I don't have like the blending skills are like all the time in the world to blend my eyeshadow but like I feel like I did pretty good like I'm happy with this and I would rock this uh, and then the blue was so much better than I initially thought it was going to be after swatching I think it's a really cool color and so far I like what I have going on with the eyes next up I'm going to move over to this palette here from Smashbox this is the Kelly Contour Shape Bronze and Glow palette this is $39 and I also got this at Sephora I've just been hearing really good things about it I'm pretty sure this probably made it into a really bad video at some point and I I'm also fairly sure I said that I was interested in it. I really enjoy face palettes. In my next declutter, I had a different uh, makeup category in mind, but I think I'm going to have to declutter my face uh, palettes here soon. Let me know if you'd be interested in that video because I've just bought like a couple different face palettes. So I probably need to go through mine, um, but I've just been hearing really good things about it It's a very like legit palette. It has a nice mirror in here as well And then you have these six different shades. So you're supposed to be able to um, Contour bronze. There's a blush in here a glow in here I have only used this shade out of it and I wanted to see if I could use it as like a setting powder under my eyes I thought it looked pretty good and it was pretty brightening under there as well So that's the only thing that I've used out of here so far. So I'm gonna come in first and contour Contour. I'm going to use the Stelaza Cheek and Chisel L309 and I'm going to take this shade right here. It looks a little bit more cool toned and I'm just going to use that to contour. So it seemed like it was pretty pigmented off the bat and I actually got a little worried that it wasn't going to be a great color because it kind of came out more gray than I was expecting to. Um, but once I blend it out, I think that it looks okay. It's also, it's, this isn't my favorite contour brush, but my other one was still wet because I just washed my brushes the other day. Um, so I didn't want to use that one because I figured that would be a mess. But uh, it does seem to be blending out fairly easily. Then for bronzer, I am going to try this bronzer. And then I have one from Guerlain too. This one looks to be a lot lighter than my one from Guerlain, which is right here. Um, this is the Terracotta Bronzer. And I think it's in like medium or two. So that one looks to be a lot darker. So I think I'm going to do kind of like a combo of the two. So first I'm going to come in with this one from Smashbox. I'm going to use my Sigma F30. I'm just going to use that to bronze here. Oh, I like that one right off the bat. So it feels really smooth and it's blending out really easily as well. And I like that color. I think that looks really good. Okay, so I want to just kind of lightly use the Guerlain bronzer as well. So again, this is the terracotta one and this is in 03. I did get this sent to me from uh, Octoly. So thank you to Octoly and Guerlain for sending this to me. It's a really nice compact. The bronzer is a little bit on the dark side. They didn't have two. I remember now on the Octoly store. Um, so I went with three and it's just a little... Uh, darker it does have a mirror as well so I'm just gonna do a light tap here and kind of mix that in with the Smashbox bronzer to see how we do I've only tried this one out once so far and I will say that I thought it was pretty I didn't think it was like the smoothest bronzer I've ever worked with though um, like the Smashbox one I think it's definitely just smoother and like 
quicker to blend and also it has a pretty intense fragrance like when it, the compacts are right here I can really smell it and it just kind of like I don't you know it kind of smells like I feel like this is so like awkward and not trying to sound rude but you know kind of like that like old woman smell like you know what I'm saying like that's kind of what it smells like to me um, I don't really notice anything after I put it on my face but it's just something that I kind of notice like as the compact is super close to me um, but I think that's I think that's nice and I think it added just like a little bit of warmth I don't want to do anything too crazy but I kind of just wanted to use both and, like bronzers bronzers is something that I love so just why not do two bronzers for blush I'm gonna use this really nice it looks like just a very like neutral blush down here I'm gonna use the Morphe E4 so I'm just gonna use the blush from there. Oh, that's really pretty as well. It's like one of my favorite shades of blush, just like a really nice neutral, and I think that looks really pretty. Ooh, so far so good for the Smashbox palette. That has me happy because I was like, do I really need another face palette? But like, face palettes are one of my weaknesses, man. Like, it's gonna be so hard to do this declutter, but I already know. Like, I haven't even gone through my collection or like looked at everything yet, but I've like I already know palettes in my mind that I'm like, no, you can get rid of that one. It's been so long since you've used that one type thing, so Stay tuned because that will be coming. Okay, so I am going to be using the Natasha Denona highlight for this one, but I'll go ahead and swatch the two kind of like highlighty shades in the palette so we can see what we are working with. So these are the two highlight shades. So this one is probably more of like what I would gravitate uh, towards for my skin tone. It's like a really nice kind of like a pinky highlight too. I like that one. And then the other one is a bit more gold. So that one might be too dark for me. But I've seen a lot of people too use these for eyeshadows as well. Like the matte shades and the shimmer shades too. Um, so you know you can kind of do a combination with these here. And like I said I did try this one as a setting powder. So so far so good. I'm really happy with this one from Smashbox. Okay so I'm going to come back to finish off the eyes. So I did put a little bit of this Urban Decay pencil into my waterline. It's in Alkaline is the liner that I used. And then coming back into the Natasha palette, I'm going to use this first purple here and a Sigma E30 pencil brush. And I'm just going to run that through the lower lash line. And I'm going to take a different uh, E30 from Sigma and just come back into this blue shade. Just grab a little bit out and then also just kind of tap this on the lower lash line. I just want to add like a little bit to the lower lash line kind of in the center. Just kind of add another color down here. And then for the inner corner I'm going to take this light shimmer here and my Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to put that into the inner corner. This is really pretty. I bet this will be really pretty all over the lid too. It's probably like the next thing I'm going to do with this palette is something a little bit more like every day maybe <laughs> and I really want to play with this shimmer. To finish off the eyes I'm going to use the mascara. This is the new one from Hourglass, the Caution Mascara. I talked about this in a Willie Bite video and I was like maybe if they have like a sample or it's like a point perk like maybe I'll try it because I'm just like trying not to buy full size mascaras. It's just not worth it for me. I don't get through them quickly enough. Uh, so when I saw that this was, I think it was one of the bonus offers, like I entered a code to get it or whatnot, and I was like, yep, I, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. I've been kind of hearing mixed things on it, so we will go ahead and see what I think. There is what the wand looks like. Some people are saying they really like it. Some people are saying it's terrible. So we shall just go ahead and see. So I will say the packaging on this mini actually kind of makes it hard to apply because of like the... I don't know, just like the way that the wand is because I can't really get close to my lashes, like especially on my uh, like bottom lashes. I kept hitting my face with the side of the wand, so that's, that's, that's a little tough. So that is after one coat, and I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat as well. Typically I do this days that I'm just wearing mascara, not lashes. I'll almost always do two coats of mascara. So that's after two coats of mascara. I can tell that it's a drier formula, which I don't mind. Um, again, the bottom lashes are just a little hard to get because of how the packaging is set up, but I like the way it made my top lashes look. They definitely look longer. They look a little bit more like fuller as well, like it did some something for volume also. Uh, I, I like it so far. Those are both my lashes with the Caution Mascara. I'll have to see how it wears throughout the day, like if I get any like transfer or flaking or things like that. But just first impressions, I like it so far. So, hey, that was pretty good. 
So to finish off the face, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Super Glow Extreme Shine Crystal Highlighting Powder. Okay? That's what I'm going to use. I hope you wrote that down. Uh, this is one of her new highlighters. This is $38. You get quite the large pan here. There's a really nice mirror inside. Like, this is... That's fantastic. I ended up going with shade one, which is described as an icy ivory. I feel like people who I've been seeing using these, like this one almost looks like it has a bit more pink to it. And I'm just really into pink highlights right now. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do a swatch of this one so you can see what it looks like. So there is the swatch of it. I think that it looks really pretty. Uh, it almost is a little sheer like in the swatch though so i really want to get this on my face to see if it was worth a 38 dollar highlight price so i'm going to use my trusted sigma fo3 and i'm going to go ahead and apply that yes yes okay so that is like one like I know it, it looks quite messy. I've swatched it the moment I got it. I swatched it for Instagram. I just watched it now, so it looks a little bit messy. But I literally went doo 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 and then applied to my cheeks. Yes, I don't even know what else to say right now. That's freaking stunning. It looks wet. Oh my gosh. I am so happy right now. There's no glitter to it. That's freaking beautiful. Are you kidding me right now? Mm. Take me home, Natasha Denona. You don't even have to buy me dinner. Just let me put this highlight on. I'm gonna run just a little bit down the center of my nose and then add like right to the tip of my nose like I normally do. Well, it's official. Um, I hate this highlight and I'm taking it back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think it looks beautiful. That looks stunning. I'm so happy right now. Wow. Hello highlights. Uh, okay, so that is going to be it for my face. I did go ahead and spray it with the Morphe Continuous uh, Setting Mist as well as I was waiting for my camera to cool down. So face is done. So I'm going to move on to lips. So I just got a quite... Quite a, quite a large lipstick package from CoverGirl. I'm sure you've probably seen them as well um, that were sent out to some influencers and it was filled with uh, lipsticks and also a few lip liners as well. And inside there was cream and uh, this one is a demi matte finish lipstick. I am not really loving on the creams. They're a little bit too like, they don't mesh well with my dry lips as much uh, but I tried a demi matte the other day and I really liked it so I want to try another one. This one is in the shade Trending which I thought looked quite nice. I did pick up a lipstick in my Ulta haul as well, which I will be doing a Sephora and Ulta haul coming up. I just am waiting on one more Ulta package. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but the lip color I picked up was kind of like a uh, peachy pink and I didn't think it would go well with this look. So I picked out one from CoverGirl and I'm going to go ahead and apply this one in Trending. So here is the lip shade in Trending. Again, I've really been liking these demi matte lipsticks. They're not fully matte. They're really easy to apply. They're really smooth and creamy. Um, they're just, they kind of, like I, like I feel like it's kind of more satiny right now, but after a bit, it dries down a little bit more matte. I didn't find them to be like super, super long wearing, but of course they're really easy to apply since it is more of like a regular bullet lipstick. So I've been really liking that formula from CoverGirl, but after my lips, that is going to go ahead and finish today's try out new makeup video. Woo! Okay, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed trying out some new makeup with me. This is the final look that we got. I quite like it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with a lot of the products I tried out the mini Lila palette. I have to say I'm pretty happy with it does remind me of the sunset palette quality wise I don't think it swatches as well as the sunset, but I feel like it performed pretty darn well well on the eyes I like the colors came in here. I'm gonna be excited to play around for $25 first impressions I'm happy with this one. Uh, I was also really impressed with the Kali contour palette I think I'm gonna really like this one as a face palette I enjoy that I have a contour a bronzer a blush a setting powder and a highlight in here um, So that's pretty cool and I'm going to be excited to try out kind of like this pinky highlight. Uh, but so far, so good with the Cali Contour Palette. Uh, the Guerlain Bronzer, I want to try this one out a couple more times. It's just, it's a little bit on the dark side for me. Um, and I just wish it was a little bit, a little bit smoother. It's just kind of a little bit difficult to, to blend. And I think these are like $53. That is crazy expensive for a bronzer. And 
I'm gonna try it a little bit more before you see it in a review video. The Hourglass Caution Mascara, first impression again, I did like it. Um, I'm gonna try it out, I'm gonna see how it lasts throughout the day and all of that, but I definitely felt like it gave me length and I do like that it gave me some volume as well and kind of helped separate out my lashes. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about that one. We'll see how it goes throughout today. This is probably my favorite product that I tried today. This highlight is absolutely stunning. I love the finish it gives on the skin. I love the compact. I love the mirror. Uh, so far, I am so happy with this, and I'm truly now considering buying number two as well from Natasha Denona. Like, stunning. And then the lipstick from CoverGirl. I really do like this shade in Trending and I'm really liking that demi matte finish for the lipsticks. So other than that, that is going to do it for today's video. Uh, as always, when I'm trying out new makeup, doing first impressions, I'll come back in a couple weeks and give my review and full thoughts on everything. Uh, I'll probably also be filming another tutorial with this for Instagram. So let me know if there's other color combinations you would want to see over there as well. But after that, that is going to do it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go. I do, do post every single day except for Saturdays. So I will catch you guys in Sunday's video. Bye.